I'll sit down. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. I understand. Leave it down. I want to tell you that we are in a spiritual warfare. And Satan knows, you know, he knows Christians. He knows when you are playing. He knows everything. People like uh, servants of God, they also know that Satan wants them. Want them. He can use anything. Anything. You see this girl? There's an assignment with God, with her life. As much as you. As much as yourself. But when you, when God gives you assignment, you must not choose for him. I'm saying it again. When God gives you a chance, assignment, what you need to do is to serve him only. Serve him, he will direct you to where he has called you. Hey, hey, hey. You see, when I'm speaking, some people here are falling down here. Yes, yes. God will direct you. You hear me? He will direct you where he has called you. Many people, their problem is they want to be prophets. I want to tell you something that you don't know. Can I tell you? In the whole Israel, in the whole Israel, there was only one prophet who was called Samuel. And he was known from the whole, the whole Israel. God, in choosing prophets, he, he doesn't rush. He doesn't rush. He can even wait for another prophet to die and he choose another one. I'm telling you now. God, in choosing prophets, he doesn't rush. Because Remember, you have to bring his voice so that otherwise we've got many false prophets. 99.999999 are false prophets. 0, 0, 0, 0.0001 there, million one, are true prophets. So that you people here, so that you people here, you must serve God. Why God does that? He wanted people not to go to a prophet only and get a word. Go to a prophet, you get it. No. So that you stay in the church, you do what? You serve God. So that you must be taught the word. I don't know if you're hearing me. So that you come to church and the word of God will be given to you. Given to you. So then later is then God will use a prophet to give you direction. So I don't know. That's the reason why today, many of you today, we have problems today. It's because Jesus says, many, they will come in my name. And it has happened. So we must be very careful. When I'm praying for this girl, I can't hear what the demon is saying. I, I'm, I was confused. Even you, were you not confused? Yes. Why? Because... What devil want to do? He want to confuse this girl. He want to confuse this girl so that she look there without saving him here. That's how Satan works. He want you to look at the gift before you know who is God. This is a mistake that the church today is heavy. People are looking at the gift but they have not experienced God. To the one who gives the gift. We need to reach a level whereby we serve God. Serve God. We serve God. That is why you find that when a person uh, is failing a trick now, he's a prophet. <laughs> the moment when you, you, you get EF now, or you, you, get, you, get, you don't get certificate, you're a prophet now. You are seeing vision. You are going to Facebook now. You are checking the names of people. You prophesy now by the Facebook now. 
Facebook is the Holy Spirit now. Oh, you put some people to tell you who's that one, where is he driving, whatever, whatever. This is a confusion we are having today because now someone didn't pass my trick and doesn't know what to do. But from the young scholar, let's go back to school. Look what is happening to our country now. Trade, learn something, learn a trade, do something. Learn, you can learn welding, welding. You learn something. Pastoring is not an easy thing. You can be attacked. Ask mama here what we went through. Ask my wife here what we went through. Pastoring is not as easy as you think. No one will tell you this. No one will tell you. No one will tell you. No one except me, I'm telling you now. Pastoring is not as easy as you think. If you think you'll get offering, get offering, this offering will bring more problems. Will bring problems, challenges, whatever. I'm praying that when we live here, in our hearts here, we put titles away. Apostle, prophets, pastor, evangelists, whatever, put them away. You begin to serve God. I know many people here, I'm not referring to this girl. I know many people want to marry prophets. Many people want to marry prophetess. But let's go and serve God now. We forget the issue of gift. If you see a dream, it's a dream. If you don't see a vision, you can't see a vision. No one will kill you. If now you cannot get my tribe business, there are many things you can sell. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm going to pray for you today so that you find who you are. Can I pray for you to find who you are? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You will know, no, this is not my portion. Because whatever is not yours, if you take it, it will trouble you. Have you ever found you are trying to be a pastor and you, you can't preach? Have you, think about you're a footballer, but you don't have legs. You are trying to be a footballer, but you don't have legs. You are trying to prophesy, but you don't have mouth. No fishing. So this today, if you are supposed to be security, I want to pray for you. You go and chingin. I'm telling you. And you'll be surprised when you are busy working as a security, you will develop, you become a businessman in security. You enjoy, you become, have money. You are supposed to do business in transportation. You are going to do it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Whatever you are going to be, God is going to give you and give you even Basela. You are going to be on top. Yeah. I say you are going to be on top. Yeah. I say you are going to be on top. Yeah. People who think you won't be anything in your family, they will be surprised of you. Yeah. I said, they will be surprised of you. Yeah. I don't care what happened to you. I don't care whether you are, how many years or not. But the Lord God is still the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. He will lift you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you are here, as I'm speaking right now here, if there is any stumbling block that has blocked you not to be what God wants you to be. I command that stumbling block to leave you, to leave you, to leave you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those who think you cannot be, they will be surprised you are like that. Those who think it's over with you, they will be surprised it's the beginning. I don't know if you are hearing that. Yeah. I want to pray for someone, Mama, who cannot marry. To marry. 
who cannot get married to get married. I want to pray for someone who's in the family, there's nothing. That person will be the first to drive a car. That person will be the first to drive a car. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you let me get one person here. Let me get one person who want a car here. Just run. Yeah, these people stop there. You people here. Let me just take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take your car now. 